Hey, welcome back. We're glad you're with us. And we want to jump and look at Exodus 32. We want to start at Exodus 32 today. And this, you know, with, along with uh, the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments is probably the most famous thing that you find in the entire book of Exodus. And so what I want to talk about today is the start of the story of the golden calf. So I just want to look at verse 1. There's so much to deal with in just verse 1. It says, when the people saw how long it was taking Moses to come back down the mountain, they gathered around Aaron. And I'll stop right there after the first sentence. Remember what all Moses has been doing. He's been up on that mountain. He's been getting all of this instruction from God. All of the stuff we've talked about with the tabernacle, the altar, the ark, everything. God's been laying all of this out for him up on that mountain. So he's been gone a long time. And so they've been waiting, and they were concerned. They come to Aaron. They say, come on, they said, make us some gods who can lead us. We don't know what happened to this fellow Moses who brought us here from the land of Egypt. So the people were troubled, and so they were ready to turn to other gods. Remember, they were in Egypt for 400 years approximately. So in that time that they were in Egypt, what would have happened to them was they would have been exposed to all of these gods, these Egyptian gods. The Egyptian had a huge pantheon of gods. God, uh, there was a god of the Nile. There was the sun god, the moon god. It was, it was, it was just all over the place. All of these different gods. God of the underworld, the god of death, the god of cattle, the god of every, the god of everything. So when they come across this. And when Moses isn't right there, they're like, well, we'll just go find some other gods. Aaron, you're kind of the second guy in charge here. Help us out. Make us some gods who can lead us. So Moses had been gone for this period of time was 40 days. And I know this probably seemed like a long time to the people, but it's how God dealt with this. And sometimes God delays. And this is really important for you to understand. Sometimes God delays in doing what we want him to do on our timetable. So the people are ready for Moses to come back. They didn't want to stay here long. They were done. They wanted more. They wanted ready to go to the promised land. They were ready. God had a different plan. But if we, unlike the Israelites here, trust in God and allow him to direct our paths and help us to persevere and be patient in these things, we grow. Because it causes us to have to have faith and trust in God when it's difficult. And in those moments is where who we are really shows up. So trusting. So they gather around Aaron and they begin to try to pull him to their side to do what they want him to do. So they actually say, make us some gods who can lead us, right? They knew that the Lord Yahweh led them out of Egypt. They knew they had encountered God in Mount Sinai, but they were willing to trust any God that could finish the situation. One problem, those gods weren't real. So they begin this process into idolatry. See you tomorrow.